Hi everyone, my name is Dave and I'd like to give you a demo of Teammate, your Kill Team Spec Ops aid. Um, so this is the main screen. We're going to start by creating a new team. We will go and make a Novitiates team and tap on them. And on this screen, we're going to start by creating our uh, roster. So let's go ahead and create a uh, Novitiate Superior, give her a plasma pistol and power weapon. And you'll see that the app has already generated a name for her. If we want to change that name, we can click this little dice icon up here and it will uh, pick a new name for her. If you want to type in your own name, you can click the pencil and type it in. But we'll just uh, go over to Catherine Iona. Um, at this point, you would create uh, more operatives, fill out your whole roster. Once you've created the team, um, adding a new operative does cost a requisition point. Uh, you can, your team has been named automatically. We can click the dice icon to randomize the team and the base of operations, their history, squad quirk, and so on. Once you're done with filling out your whole roster, you can click create team, which we'll do now. And um, now we have some more uh, choices. We can set a team photo, which we'll go ahead and put there. And we can also click on our operatives that we've created. If you tap their avatar icon here, you can put an image in for them and kind of looks nice like that and we'll save it um, here you'll notice you can change their experience points if you earn experience outside of a match you might need to adjust their experience and you can tap it up or down that way you can change their image you can rename them uh, you can use the notes field if you have extra stuff about them to fill in or you can delete the operative um, down below here are your requisition points you might need to adjust them manually uh, if you earn requisition points from a mission reward or something like that strategic assets we can click um, acquire assets i usually like to add a med bay first uh, spec ops you can pick a spec op to um, to be working on and you can adjust either your progress throughout the spec op equipment you need to uh, do equipment drops um, according to the spec op rules so we could click equipment drop to give us um, 10 points of experience do that twice for two requisition points and then we can go in and pick uh, our auto chastisers and crack grenades and so forth uh, if you earn any rare equipment you can get it there your team info you can add notes about your team you can change their name you'll see their win loss draw record uh, you can change your team photo down at the bottom, um, there's a share sheet where you can share either a match place ro play roster that just lists the operatives. Uh, this would be useful if you're going to a tournament um, and their war gear and so on, or a narrative play roster that's going to include also their names, equipment, uh, battle honors, and so forth. And at the bottom, you can do reset team. If you are starting a new campaign, you want to zero out their experience, or you can do copy as new team, which will do the same thing, but it will make a copy of the team. Um, useful if you want to keep going on one campaign but start a separate one uh, with this roster. So let's go back and I'll show you how to, um, here's a team I've already set up, uh, Phobos Strike Team, um, and I'll show you how um, games work. Uh, first thing you'll notice is our marksman here has a little band-aid next to him. That means he has gotten a battle scar previously. If you tap on him, you'll see he has sapped strength. Um, so we will choose not to deploy him so that he can start recovering. So let's go up and tap start game. And then we're gonna pick our um, operatives that to have in this game. I'm just gonna kind of pick them without a lot of thought for now. Four, five, six guys. Um, we can pick attack ops. You can use either the original core deck or the critical ops and uh, close quarters or not. So let's, why not say uh, shock and awe and then um, secure advantage and doesn't matter and plan transponder. Um, here we have a calculator to um, add up if either team gets any bonuses. If your opponent has a lot more battle honors than you do, uh, or strategic assets, you can use this little calculator and it will tell you that we would get to add two CP or uh, four equipment points or some combination thereof um, for this game. Um, and then we'll click start game. It'll ask you to confirm. And then we have our in-game sheet. You can keep score for your primary points. Um, if you're doing critical ops, this will cap out at four per turn. Um, you don't need to for the app, but it's just kind of useful to have here. And then you can also pick when you score attack op, or uh, you can assign which operative scored you those points uh, for each of, each of those. Um, here is your little score sheet that you can use to um, note your score if you don't want to use it using, using dice or whatever. 
Um, and then below here is your roster that you have selected for deployment. Um, and you can say whether they have gotten uh, incapacitated and operative, done a mission action, and if they were themselves incapacitated. Um, so we will just note that a few of them are incapacitated so that I can show you what that looks like. And um, you'll also see that they will earn experience after the game there. When we're done, we can tap finish game, say whether it was a win, loss, or draw. Of course, it would be a win because Phobos. Um, and then on the uh, post game screen, you will see the list of operatives for your entire uh, roster, including those who weren't deployed. So we can see here that um, our Reaver Sergeant Astravel is going to level up. He has a little orange um, uh, up arrow next to him. And then we also have the people who were not deployed who need to take recovery tests. So our marksman, uh, Zakael, was injured before. So we have a choice to take his recovery test. You can also, if you tap this little menu, choose to automatically pass or fail it. Um, you might do that if you are rolling the dice manually, if you don't want to have the app roll for you. But we'll just have the app roll for us. We'll tap take recovery tests. And uh, we see that he rolled a four plus one for his rested uh, tally because he was not deployed this game. So that adds up to a five and which removes his sapped strength uh, battle scar. So he is ready to go next game. And now we have these other operatives who were in our game who uh, were incapacitated. And uh, I, so I could tap here to take the casualty test or I could tap here to pass or fail it again if you were um, rolling it manually, you would use this, or also if you had an ability that allowed you to automatically pass a test, you could tap that. I'm going to go ahead and tap actually fail, just to show you that once you failed a test, you can now re-roll. Um, important to note, the app doesn't care or know about your re-roll rules. It's up to you to know whether you're allowed to re-roll a particular casualty test. Um, I could maybe track all of those things in the app, but I sort of decided that I don't ever want to be in a place where the app is telling you you can't have a reroll, but uh, you do. Maybe your campaign manager said that you could reroll tests, um, or uh, maybe you have a battle honor that I forgot to add in. So I'd rather the app just kind of be a tool. So you need to know whether you're allowed to reroll casualty tests, and if you are, you can tap that and it will reroll them, and we see that he passed. Um, if we do fail a test, um, you can then roll for a battle scar. You can pick it manually if you're uh, rolling it separately, or you can have the app roll for it, and we see that he was slain. What a shame. Um, so we'll go ahead and um, take the other tests. He failed his test, got a cerebral affliction. It reset his experience down to zero because that's what the cerebral affliction uh, requires. Take the other casualty test. He passed, um, and there we go. At the bottom, um, we have our update spec op. You can... Uh, check to see what the requirements for your spec up were. Real, think about whether you achieve that or not. Increment that. It'll tell you you're in a requisition point. And then tap finish game and you're all done. So that's the basics um, of the kind of game scoring. Now we look back at our roster and we see that Astravel has a little orange um, medal next to his name. That means he has leveled up and is due for a battle honor. So if we tap on his name, uh, we see that he's now a veteran with eight experience. And we can click on assign veteran battle honor. And at first it makes us um, select a specialism. He's a reaver, so let's go for combat. And then you can choose uh, battle honor. Um, I like to randomly uh, roll them. So we can click random honor and it'll give him an honor, vicious, add one to critical damage, great. Um, so there we go. Now we see that our guy who was injured here uh, has a little band-aid next to him to show he has a battle scar so that we know not to deploy him next game. And the one who was slain has been removed from the data slate. Um, two more things about the app. If you click on, on the main screen, there's a help manual here um, that will kind of walk through all the features, including unsupported rules. There's some kind of advice for some things that the app doesn't handle and how you might um, go about working with them. And then lastly, on the main screen, there is the leave a tip button. Um, Teammate is free. Um, I want you to use it and enjoy it. If you are using it and finding it useful, um, I would ask that maybe uh, whenever you start a new campaign, you consider leaving a tip. Uh, thank you. Good luck and have fun out there.